was kind of like really unusual. I've never ever seen anything like it. I was like, wow. I mean, that is an angel. The photos are exactly how they were taken. I choose to believe it. A Michigan man says he captured the image of an angel on his home security camera. A Michigan couple getting the shock of their lives when they got an alert from their security camera in the driveway. A second image shows the angel appearing to be flying away. Okay, but not everyone's a believer. Some say it's actually just a moth. The story attracted the attention of Good Morning America and TJ Holmes. So now, Dave, well, there you go. What do you think? I think it's a specter or a ghost. We need to get uh, Mulder and Scully to figure it out. Yeah. Now, they mm. t usually just deal with aliens. The, tr the truth is out there. I think the there. truth is out there. Yeah. I love stuff and like this. I'm not going to lie. I love when someone's so sure about something like that. And it's. Yeah, you can't, mean, can't knock the faith. No. Absolutely. And honestly, it, either way, that's really cool. Talk about some incredible video. This incredible. is from New Zealand. Yeah, a huge sinkhole opened up on a farm this week. A vol volcanologist says it's the biggest he's ever seen in the country. This is pretty spectacular. It's a lot bigger than the ones I've normally seen. A massive sinkhole which opened up on a New Zealand farm early last week. It's being called a spectacular development by geologists. Take a look at why. That is because this enormous cavern that appeared in the ground exposed volcanic rock. That is amazing. Now, the farmer who owns the land says he intends to fence off the area. This sinkhole is more than 650 feet long, about 20 feet wide. Scientists think it was caused by a huge amount of rain. They must have had a lot of rain. That would be a lot. That. Yeah. yeah. People who live here say they started to notice something strange last week. What one resident described as water explosions coming from this now empty pond. It was these sinkholes opening up. A neighborhood in central Florida suddenly looks like the cratered lunar landscape. Sinkholes are opening up and forcing families from their homes. At least a dozen sinkholes have opened up in the central Florida subdivision over the past week. Enough to drain an entire retention pond and force the evacuation of eight nearby homes. They could continue to grow and eventually merge. Eskiden 140 bin kişinin yaşadığı Berezlik'i bugün bir hayalet kente dönüştü. Uzmanlar plansız madencilik faaliyetlerinin bu felakete yol açtığını Şehrin altındaki maden tünellerinin çökmesiyle bazı obrukların derinliği 100 metreye ulaşmış durumda. Maden firması ise daha fazla çökmeye engel olmak için tünellerin suyla boğdu. Ancak su tuzu erittiği için çöküş daha da hızlandı. Yıllar içinde yüzlerce... ...görüntüler yıkımın büyüklüğünü gözler önüne seriyor. Eskiden güçlü bir kişinin yaşadığı benim may be a good time to go to Yellowstone National Park. Mm -hmm. Steamboat geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, just erupted again. No activity for three and a half years, but that has changed. Yesterday's eruption was the third in just six weeks. The notoriously fickle steamboat geyser in Yellowstone's Norris Geyser Basin has erupted three times since mid-March. More activity from the steamboat geyser in Yellowstone National Park. The boat began erupting about 6.30 a.m. Sunday and lasted about 12 hours. The experts say this level of activity hasn't happened since the 1980s. 
Two new cracks opened are spewing lava and toxic gas on Hawaii's Big Island, where the Kilauea volcano has destroyed at least 35 buildings. New video shows the fiery wrath of Kilauea bearing down on the neighborhood of Leilani Estates. Nothing in the lava's path was spared. It consumed telephone poles. While volcanoes are extremely dangerous, they are considered sacred here in Hawaii, a representation of Pele, the goddess of fire. Most people who live here believe there's more to it. According to Hawaiian mythology, Pele, the goddess of fire, inhabits Kilauea and controls the lava. People leave offerings to please her all over the island and they accept her will. After warning signs Kilauea would blow, today it happened. The eruption spinning rocks into the air, shooting a massive plume of smoke and ash 30,000 feet. This comes as the 20th fissure cracked open the earth. It is jarring and spectacular. Talk about a surreal scene. Golfers seem oblivious to the 12,000 foot plume from a volcano that is capable of a whole lot more. Earthquakes, fissures, and toxic gases have turned this tropical paradise into hell for some. You can't compare it to anything I've seen. Wow. With geologists warning of more explosions, geysers of fire threaten homes around the clock. What sounds like a jet engine overhead. Lava has been shooting out of the ground for two weeks here. Kilauea's fire and fury met today by a blast of smoke and ash. It's been nearly two weeks since the lava began oozing out, piercing through the ground in a two-mile trail of fissures, fluctuating in intensity. The literal end of the road for so many here in Lani Punai Estates. Uh, the road is cracked completely, and you can see towards the end, it is completely severed. And this is one way out of this community that essentially doesn't exist anymore. Take a look at these satellite images showing Hawaii's big island a year ago and now. Mm. Mother Nature scarring this tropical paradise. There are now 19 volcanic fissures. This one at least several football fields in length, ripping through the earth, keeping residents here on edge. I heard what sounded like a jet turbine. At least four cracks opening up since Saturday. Those eruptions echoing across the lush greenery of this island. I've actually seen rocks fly over the tree line. The storm struck in the dead of night as people slept in their homes, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. From Rajasthan to Uttar Pradesh, even in the capital, New Delhi, there were intense bursts of lightning accompanied by hail and rain. Dust storms are always expected ahead of the incoming monsoon season, but not of this strength. A massive dust storm accompanied by rain hit the national capital region in India in the early hours of the morning today. This comes days after a deadly storm killed over 80 people across five states in India last week. The worst affected were rural areas. Falling trees hit fragile buildings, destroying homes. A massive sandstorm swept across Egypt this week. It was like something out of the mummy. Known as a haboob in Arabic, a sandstorm kicks up blinding quantities of sand and dust. 
This storm closed several highways across Upper Egypt. The unstable weather is expected to continue for several days. It's really like somebody flipped a switch. It went from a beautiful sunny day to this here along the Hudson River. A lot of people surprised by how quickly this is moving through. Trees downed, cars crushed, and streets completely swamped. I've never seen anything like this. Day turning into night in the shadow of the Empire State Building. We all watched as the city suddenly turned dark. Bringing chaos to New York's Grand Central with thousands stranded as commuter trains are suspended. The East Coast seeing sheets of rain, vicious winds and lightning. Those storm clouds rolling into New York City. This is a really dangerous situation as we go into the early evening hours. Wind gusts downing trees and knocking out power for almost half a million customers across the region. <laughs> Overnight, powerful straight line winds pummeling the mid-Atlantic. The wind is ridiculous. I don't know what is happening right now. <laughs> you can hear the wind whipping through the trees as debris began to fly. Storms have made a mess of much of the country over the past 24 hours. The nation's capital still cleaning up from the powerful storm that sparked this house fire in Maryland and left more than a thousand in the dark. Passengers at Dulles Airport rushed into a tunnel for safety. Travelers there forced to hide underground. Further west, hail turned roads into rivers near Denver. Bradley International Airport near Hartford evacuating its air traffic control tower. In some cities, every single road shut down. Got to tell you, the wind here was so strong. Come over here just so you can see this. While we were standing here this afternoon, look at what the wind did to this massive light post here, David. But that really dealt, tells quite a story. Um, I was on the train through Connecticut, yeah. coming back from a, from a shoot. It was full on Ghostbuster, yeah. Ghostbusters weather. I mean, it was grim. It is jarring and spectacular. Mother Nature scarring this tropical paradise. 